Good morning, folks, or good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be out there. I hope you're doing well. Well, still smoke from my breath. It's 27 degrees today, and it is cold. But if you look at the temperature, it's warming up today all the way up to 50. And this week, it's going to hit 60 degrees. Oh, this is it. The cold is ending, thank goodness. And the snow is ending. Here you can see our girls, our female hop yard. Snow has almost melted. We haven't gotten around to doing our soil test yet because I thought this would be melted by now, but probably by the end of the day. So today or tomorrow, we're going to show how to do a soil test and send in to see what we have to do to start working on our hop yard. So, ooh, could be the last day, it's cold. I hope so. Back inside, ooh, hurry. <laughs> well folks, here we are inside with our Triumph Twins. And as you can see in the video there, we did a little bit of trimming yesterday after we had come inside. Now today, it has warmed up outside a lot. Thank goodness, just like we said. But if we check out our plants, pretty interesting. We'll start at the bottom. They're definitely starting to turn woody. The stems are really getting brown. It's really wild how thin the stems are at the bottom even on these that are way bigger and stronger these are the three-year-old triumphs this is their first year Zeus these two have never been out of the aeroponic system here but the stems here they look a lot thicker than the Zeus but up top they're way thicker than they are here at the bottom but as you can see we cleaned all the bottom leaves there were some ugly leaves there was a lot of wasted energy, a lot of new growth kept coming out from the bottom. Now it's gonna keep starting to pop up. There's not much I could do, but keep trimming it. This uh, system's really pumping some energy, but now that we've cut the lights back, the new growth should stop. And hopefully within this week coming up, they're gonna start flowering. And the temperature, Inside, 72 degrees, which is great, although it's real low in water. I haven't filled it for two days. I've been filling it every day. And then check out outside. It is really warmed up today. 60 degrees. Hoo -hoo -hoo. I am so happy. Our plants are going to be exploding shortly. Inside here, it's 64.7, 31% humidity. We always keep an eye on that. So, I'm gonna go up and show you the plants from top to bottom, or from bottom to top. They really got some branches going here and there, especially up higher. And they are full. The leaves are getting nice and big, eight inch leaves, 10 inch leaves. We're now cut down to 10 hours a day of light, trying to get them to stop growing. But as you can see up top there, they're still going crazy. Uh oh. This plant here is about 14 feet all together. And we're going to do our best. Over here, too, they're really going nuts. Coming out the side. Not sure what to do. <laughs> Let them go. We'll have a bunch of cones up top, hopefully. So, hopefully, this week we will have. Cones. We're going to do a foliar test here shortly, but we'll show you that in a little while. Let's go over and check on the male hop yard. Back out into the cold a little bit. Well, folks, over here, I call this the male yard, although there's more females than males, but this year it'll be different. Them sticks are where the plants are. The alpha aroma. I got the size of them stalks. I let the plants 
some of them be here. Our poor Rocky here was under three feet of snow a week or two ago. The plow plowed the park a lot and pushed the stone in the snow up over top of our New Mexicano mail. Huh. Hope it's okay. There's still a little bit of snow left. The sun's out, but it is still cold as heck. But check out the weather next week. Hey, this is uh, another one of our clones to our Superboy. USDA 19058, which is going to stay here. I just wanted to show you the trellis that I made that you can make. It really gave shade for this deck. It's uh, the, the low part's about 16 feet. The higher one's 20 off the ground. And this alfa aroma plant was way up into the trees. The macho, the, the male also, and the neo-mexicano. They were all over 20 feet tall. But you can do that yourself to make a wall of hops. I'll show you a picture or two here. And keep shade on your deck in the summer. This is our male hop yard. We're gonna have to clean it up soon, hopefully, next week, looking at the weather. Hoo-hoo! Can't wait. Well, hey guys. So here I am up on a ladder, taking a good look at my plants. The leaves are really pretty, really green. I turned off the LED light for a couple minutes here because what I did, I decided I'm gonna do a little test and do some foliar feeding on one area of one of these plants. Uh, I see the leaves seem a little bit cupped, although they look perfect. I mean, there isn't obviously no bugs and no fungus or no disease. They're really green. They look way better than the plants down in the grow room, down in the dungeon. So, but I'm gonna test this one branch here and give it a feeding of foliar spray and see if it makes a difference. Any product you ever use, whether it's a fungicide, insecticide, uh, uh, any kind of new product, even uh, nutrients, it's good to do a test on one plant. God forbid something goes wrong and you lose everything. We do that down in Brazil. Anything we start using new, we take four small plants and test them and make sure that they don't die after a week before we go and use it on a large quantity. So we're gonna spray this plant here. What I have and what I'm using is this Tiger Bloom. It's Buds and Bloom. It's actually a three-part kit uh, that I had bought. One is grown and then they have this, which is the starting of Bloom. Then they have the Super Bloom, I think it's called. Um, it's a Fox Farm product and it actually has, the most important is a lot of the micronutrients that I'm looking for. What I'm using in the aeroponic is pretty straightforward and doesn't have these micronutrients. Manganese, copper, boron, zinc, they're really important. I think it might help, especially now that the plant's going to go into cone stage and start flowering it could use a little bit of extra because I really want to try to make these cones look good. So we're going to do a test on this one branch of this one plant here. Oh, it's more than one branch, it's three or four, but this plant uh, is a Triumph 2, number two, and there's two sides. Uh, they, I put two strings. This one has, looks like four vines going up. The other one only has two, but we're going to actually spray this right here and do a test. And then we'll compare in the next couple days and in the next few weeks. It's always good to yeah, definitely turn out your lights when you do this and let the plant dry out, especially right up here near the top of the plant underneath the lights, which will definitely burn your plant. So we just take it and we put a spray right on the leaves, get them nice and wet, and then leaves will actually suck this product right in. And within 10 or 15 minutes, they'll be dry and we'll put the light back on. So, let's do it. So 
So one thing I will say, if you have a lot of plants and you're real serious, the best thing to do is sand some leaves out to get foliar testing. It's pretty simple. We're gonna do a tip on that next week and we're gonna send some leaves to a lab and actually get the results back and see how the plants are doing. Uh, but in the meantime, we're gonna do a little test here and see how this works too. But I always suggest send to a certified lab that has experience testing hops because they can give you the correct parameters where your plants should be and advice what kind of foliar spray to use on your hops plants. All right, I thought I would show the guaranteed analysis on the back of the product here, which has definitely a little bit of everything, including nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus. But down here, to show you the different feeding per foliar, it says two and a half milliliters per gallon of water. I use one. 0.25 so it's pretty simple I use, I use these little eyedroppers that are really convenient because they have the vibration there so that's one and a half 1.25 would be right there and drop it into your bucket give it a good mix and you're good. Tiger Bloom, Buds and Bloom. It's a three pack kit made from Fox Farm. So let's go check on the dungeon. Wow, really cool looking hop sleeve. Oh, cool looking, but this plant isn't doing so good. Here we are in the dungeon, grow room one. And we actually took the sauce and the sriracha out. They were really hurting. But these plants here, believe it or not, this is Polaris. And the Lupa Louis back there is the whole top was really yellow and it actually uh, burned a few leaves from being way too close to the light. Uh, this specific gem was almost just as yellow and now the leaves really turned green. I started giving them fertilizers. They were starving apparently. My soil uh, was really rich a few years ago but or last year but it sat outside all winter in a shed, but I think it uh, isn't so fertile. I left a smooth cone on a piece of bamboo. I'm not sure if I'm gonna train it. It's way ready to train. I probably will, cause I have Tahoma over here. who's finally coming around. This thing almost died, but it's really adjusted now that I've given it some nutrients and it's starting to climb on its own. So for any of you who haven't been watching, we have a 2000 watt with Philips LEDs and this is a Mars Hydro 1000 watt inside of our grow room here. We now have six plants all growing around these strings. The idea is for them to grow 15 feet. This beautiful, beautiful sunbeam. I love the color. I'm curious if I can make beer with it. I wanna show you something before we check grow room one. This plant here has wrapped around. It's gotten up to here. Here's the tip. And look right here, the mark. Out of focus, 15. That's the 15 foot mark on this trellis. This plant has wound around and around and around 
and around now six times to the bottom. So that plant is almost at 15 feet. This plant here, unfortunately, the main tip broke, and now I have two branches. So it's coming up to a good 10 feet. This one too, definitely has 10 feet, and you can see it's climbing up the bamboo. I'm gonna have to train it. I trained these twice already this week. They're really kicking. So it won't be long now, they'll be up to the top. And we're gonna turn these lights down and see if we can make them bloom. All right, off to grow room one. Well, here we are in G2, grow room two. I turned on the little candescent light so we could see, but these are two 600 watt Viper Spectra. They call them blurple lights. And they have two modes, grow and veg. But right now, it's all about grow. Check out our seedlings. 10 days old. Started with 1,500 seeds. And hope to have about 1,000 seedlings when we're done. Eventually narrow down to maybe 20 plants. These are mostly Zeus Nugget. Although we have Tea Maker here, we actually use Tea Maker to test the alpha acids of our males because we know our Tea Maker has less than 1.0 AA. So when we cross with our male, we can get an idea if it's a high alpha acid or low. We have Centennial cross with our Superboy males and cross with our Neo Mexicano. We have lots of Comet and Neo Mexicano F2 and F3 crosses here. Some of our best plants that were made last year that we crossed again with our super USDA mail. I can't wait to see how these plants grow. And believe it or not, folks, these plants will all grow this year, 15 to 18 feet tall. Although we'll throw some out, the ones that are obviously not so good genetics, but they will grow till full bloom with cones, the males obviously will not have cones. But this is group number one. We have two more groups coming up. We're germinating now. But check them out. It's really cool the way they carry the seed pod along with them. Well, I can't wait to see these grow. Well, for those of you that don't know, I have a hops farm down in Sao Paulo, Brazil with my partner, Ricardo. And on our farm, we have over an acre of hops on our big trellis. And we have a couple smaller trellises that we use for breeding. We also have a complete legalized nursery for hops plants that we sell throughout the country. The problem we're having with our hops there is that we are too close to the equator and the plants grow and they get to be about 10 to 15 feet tall and they start flowering. So we decided to bite the bullet and do a major project and install LED lamps on top of our trellis for one acre. Wow, what fun that was being on top of a 15 foot scaffolding getting pulled around by a tractor. But here's my partner and I up on top of the trellis and we installed the LED lamps. And on our first test this year, we are really thrilled with the results in our test yard, which was the first yard we put the plants under lights. This is our bigger yard. The plants are just getting up the wire now and not flowering, so we're really happy. But check out this plant from last year and this year on the right. This is cluster, and we had five to six foot long branches. We're gonna have probably a pound of cones dry off that one plant. Wow, are we thrilled. 
Well, folks, thanks for being with me this week. This coming up week, we are going to spend 90% outside getting our hop shard ready, doing some soil testing, foliar testing, cleaning both hop yards, our male yard and our female yard. Mostly all, we'll do a quick check-in with the indoor plants, but it's going to be 90% how to get our hop shard ready for the spring. Real important stuff, folks. So don't miss next week. Subscribe to our channel. You'll stay with us every week for our vlog. And put a thumbs up if you like. If you have any comments or anything in particular, any questions you want to ask, if you want me to do any special tips or special things on our vlog, just let me know. So stay tuned for more tips in our vlog every week. Thanks for being with me, folks. I really enjoyed it. Cheers to life.